the dark night sky over the Alpentia Sports Park and the Olympic Sliding Centre on day eight of competition at these 23rd Winter Olympic Games. And it's the night where the gold, silver and bronze are decided in women's skeleton. If you haven't seen this sport before, you're going to enjoy it. And I'll turn to a lady who's in the silver medal position trying to defend her gold medal won in Sochi four years ago to describe this sport of skeleton for you. It's like relaxed aggression. You need your peripheral vision filtering constantly. You are using your sense of smell, the pressure in your chest, you're feeling the G-forces in your neck and chest and arms. It's a real orchestra of information. That's what Lizzie Arnold says about this sport of skeleton, and she should know. Janine Flock, though, from Austria, is in the gold medal position. She stands between Lizzie and defending her title right now. The gap, just two hundredths of a second. Then comes Germany's Jacqueline Lohling, ten, one-tenth of a second, point one zero behind Flock in that gold medal position. Laura Dees of Great Britain is close behind as well in fourth. And it really will be between those four to decide who walks away as the Olympic champion. Now Laura is just outside the medals by 0 0.09, less than a tenth of a second. And it's Jacqueline Lohling, world number one, who she will be targeting here. Her starts have been excellent. She's capable of a 5.05 or something similar and really we need to see it. Laura Dees of Great Britain. Power from the top, really giving it absolutely everything. She's been the number one slider for her nation for the last couple of years. 5.09 is good. That gives her a real chance. She must stay in the green, but more than that, just extend at the bottom. And, and you see what nice smooth lines of transitions up here in the upper section of the course. Very quiet on the slide, very little noise on the ice. It's a good looking run, isn't it? Out of nine, clean, no, just a tiny touch and maybe she touched both sides. Balance, timing, rhythm, that's what this sport demands. She's brought it with her from an equestrian background. It's an unusual background into sliding. And she stay in the middle hunt here. Get hold of Herman, it's gonna be tight. She's done it by eight hundredths of a second. So, still out of the medals with three to go, but she's got the stake in the ground, and that's the important part. There's Geisenberger there. Maybe we'll get the flag. You're a bit slow, girls. We need to get that up a little bit faster, and there'll be an opportunity in a moment. There'll be plenty of Union Jacks around, though, right now, with a 51-9-1, the best time we've seen from Laura D. She's a big-time performer. Here. She just catches the edge of that wall and it sends her over to the left hand side. And at that moment, you're just thinking, get it back in, get the sled back straight before you get into curve 12. So Laura Dees from Tina Herman and a French step, but we still have the three fastest women in this field to come. And here they come right now. Jacqueline Lowling. She's the heaviest athlete in the field, 77 kilograms, and that's where the 23-year-old gets her speed from at the bottom. She's, well, slow is the only word for it from the top. She's been, if not the slowest of the 20, the second slowest with her first three runs, and that's not abnormal. She needs a 5.3, definitely 5.37. She must be perfect here, the speed machine. Yeah, and, and again, it's no surprise that she's in the red right now because she gains all of her time and her momentum at the bottom. Three tenths of a second is a big lead to overcome. It is big, but she'll get it up to 128 if all goes to plan. But as always, curve nine will be the deciding factor here for the world number one. She was second with her first run, then first after the second run, and then let it slip. That's a bit better. Maybe, oh. maybe clipped it, and that's what sent her high. Look at the wave out of 12. Yeah, and a lot of work for her. You heard all that noise as she tries to get the sled back under control with 413. She can do it, though. 128 is the speed gun. It's only going to happen in the last metre. If it does, Lowling chases down Dees and gets there with a margin. How does she do it? She turns the ice into an autobahn at the bottom of the track. She really does. Incredible speed. And 51.83. It's almost her fastest time. And says come and get me with that so a certain medal 
that guarantees a medal. Germany's first medal in this sport to Jacqueline Lerling. You know, and we see here, you know, she is, like you said earlier, one of the better drivers. Nice smooth transition there. And she must just clip this wall as she enters 12. Tough to see from that split, but we saw that what the aftermath in curve 12. She's ecstatic with that. She won seven of the nine World Cup races this year, so it is surprising to see her in third position. That's the worst. It could change. Lizzie Yarnold now defending her gold medal, medal one in Sochi four years ago. 521. She's been faster than that, so we know how fast Lowling will finish in the time comparison. So, oh, she's got to work, Lizzie. 36 hundredths of a second to work with, but we obviously saw that, that Lowling picks up all of her time at the bottom, but she did make up about three tenths on her one run just at the bottom portion of the track. Good speed from the top from Lizzie. It was a track record with her first run. She hasn't been like that since, and she won't be here and messy. Messi, but it's a half a second through nine, 12, now 13. Not long to go, Lizzie. She won a goal and she is chasing down Janine Flock. She needs to first off hold out the German, get a good margin to do it, and she does. It is a track record 51 4 6 despite the contact. Look at that. Ooh, they say, how did she do that? Lizzie Yardle, talk about a big time performer. Far and away the best form she has shown since the Olympics of four years ago. They worry about her health. She has a condition that means really this is the worst sport possible for her. It affects her balance and her eye movement. But they're rock solid there. And despite the contact, she rode it so well. Yeah, she she, correct, she made that correction in curve 12. And again, she, uh, she is no stranger to to this podium and she saves the best for last year in the Olympic Games. Okay, let's set the scene for you here. Just two hundredths of a second was the margin that Janine Flock held over Lizzie Yarnell at the end of three rounds. And Lizzie has just posted a 51-4-6 track record. Janine has to be faster than she's ever been before if she's to win the gold medal. Otherwise, it goes to Great Britain and Lizzie Yarnell from the top. The start time, all imperative. Looks good. Nice form. Time, 5-2-2. And Janine hears that. She hears on the track announcing that there's been a track record. So she knows that if she wants to chase her down, she has got to have the best run that she's ever had on this course. And in the red to begin. And we know Lizzie flew at the end. She flew the whole way. This is going to be really hard for the 28-year-old. And about 2,300 back, that's a fairly large margin for somebody that's trying to chase down Lizzie Arnold. It's a massive margin. She was the number one in the world heading into Sochi four years ago, could only finish ninth at the top of the charts in the last round, chasing Lizzie Arnold and struggling to wheel her in. It's out to four tenths of a second now. I think we know what that means. Only 126, the speed gun. Flock will bring it around. Can she hang on for silver? That's probably the question she can't. She's lost the medal, down to fourth position. Long may she reign. Lizzie Yarnold is Queen Elizabeth of Olympic Skeleton for the second time. Incredible scenes at the Olympic Sliding Centre. Great Britain, they've dominated this sport. They take another gold, and Laura Dees moves up for bronze. Lolling the silver in between Germany's first medal and Janine Flock for the second game. She had it all before her and it's gone. There she is, the Olympic champion as Flock is consoled. Oh, this sport is so tough. It gets you in so many ways. It really does. And well, Ash, before we have a look at the Olympic champion, Lizzie, take us through Janine and where it went wrong here in a 52-1-2. You know, I'm not so sure that it went wrong for Janine as much as it went right for Lizzie Arnold. And you can see the coaches, just pure devastation as they, the medal slips away from them. And there, the winner goes to the vanquished. Lizzie takes gold from Janine, who misses a medal altogether. So Zach, Jacqueline Lowling, and there's Laura Dees, who sort of was hoping something would happen. And you summed that up beautifully. It wasn't that 
Janine Flock did anything wrong. It was Lizzie Young posted at a time that just blew her away and she couldn't respond to it. But how about, how about Lizzie Haight, the 29-year-old who retired from the sport after Sochi. She took a couple of years off. She said she had burnout. She came back smarter. She knew when to switch on and when to switch off. And it probably helped in the interim she married a sled engineer. So she's had some help along the way, has Lizzie, riding on her sled called Mervyn to a gold medal, Pyeongchang 2018. And Ash, into the stand she goes. Yeah, I mean, really amazing what Lizzie's done. She's battled health issues. She's been through retirement and burnout. And for her to come back, she knows she's an experienced slider. She knows that she needs to be fast at the start. She's got the skill down the track. And then obviously she's got great equipment. So overall, she, she walks away with the gold medal. Bronze medalist, Great Britain. Laura Dees. 29 year old Laura Dees has been a late bloomer in this sport coming from an equestrian background. She hadn't even made her World Cup debut by the time that her dear friend Lizzie Yarnold won gold in Sochi. On that day, she was sent a text message by Yarnold saying how sorry she was that Dees hadn't been there to share the moment with her. Well, she's sharing it now. The first time ever that Great Britain has had two athletes on the same podium at an Olympic Winter Games. Laura Dees, the history maker. Bronze medal to Laura Dees of Great Britain. Medaille d'or et champion olympique, Grande Bretagne. Gold medalist and Olympic champion, Great Britain. Good medal, Olympic champion, Yongo, Lizzie Yarnold. Lizzie Yarnold had a dream a couple of nights ago that she and Laura Dees were both on the podium here in Pyeongchang, but she was too worried to tell her teammate and friend. In this regard, and so many others, it's been a dream come true for Britain's flag bearer here in South Korea. Despite being defending Olympic champion, Yarnold was far from the favourite. Having not won a race for three years, she almost walked away from the sport and had been struggling with illness for the duration of the Games. 29-year-old from Kent becomes the first athlete from her country to defend an Olympic Winter Games title, the greatest Winter Olympian in British history. The gold medal in the women's skeleton to Lizzie Yarnold of Great Britain. And now the national anthem of Great Britain. Ladies and gentlemen, the anthem of Great Britain. and the women's skeleton at Pyeongchang 2018. Bronze to Laura Dees of Great Britain, silver to Jacqueline Lerling of Germany and gold to Lizzie Yarnold of Great Britain. <laughs> 